Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we have a fun experiment because we're going to be testing lines today. We have this line tester and we're going to test the abrasion resistance between a fluorocarbon leader line, which is this one, and then just a normal fluorocarbon line. The, the, the cost difference of these is, is a lot. It's about, I think it's, this is about five times more um, than, the, than the main line. And so we're going to see if, if it's actually better or not, or if it's the same line. Because I've done some research on it, a lot of people have asked, uh, so I did some research about, well, hey, what's the difference between a fluorocarbon leader line and a, just a fluorocarbon main line, where it comes, you know, in uh, 200 plus or minus yards versus like the 25 yard spools. The 25 yard spools are always much more expensive, you know, five times or more. And so, hey, what's the difference? And I really didn't know, I didn't know what to ask, so I did some research, and what I'm hearing is that a lot of people are saying that although both of them are 100% fluorocarbon, the leader line typically has some sort of abrasion resistant polymer you know, added to the line where it's just stronger. And so we're gonna test that out. So what we have here, I'll just explain the, uh, the test. So we have both lines, the leader line is on this side, the, the main line is on this side, and both of them are hung, are hung over this sandpaper and they're hung over with the exact same weight. So these lines have the same exact tension on them. And so how this works is I'm gonna be moving this, uh, this back and forth, which is basically taking the line, you know, the, sand, the line over the sandpaper, similar to you know, how a snook or a bass uh, would, would impact the line as they're shaking their head, right? It's the side to side movement, like the sawing motion on the line. So we're gonna test, again, which, which of these lines is stronger or if they're the same. And, uh, and we'll know because um, this, this should reveal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna do at least five, at least five runs of it and just see what happens and I'll report to you the findings. All right, so test number one, we have the leader line on this side, the main line on this side. So we expect the leader to last longer than the main line. Let's get started. There goes the main line. All right, so that main line Main line uh, gave way just a little bit faster. So the leader line did out, outperform it, but it was only by like one turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch these two just to make sure that this, uh, this test is perfectly calibrated. And we're gonna switch it and do a, a few more tests and see if that is standard. Maybe it goes longer or less, so, so we'll see. All right, so test number two, we have the leader line over here on this side, main line on this side. And so let's see, uh, see what happens. We're gonna get started. Remember to pivot up. Oh, there goes the leader line. Wow. So that one, the uh, the leader line actually broke just a little bit faster. Um, so that's that was interesting. So uh, we're gonna do some more tests, but yeah, definitely leader line broke a little bit first, but just barely. This one lasted just like another half turn. So we're gonna do another test, split them up again, and see what happens. Oh, that was the main line. Wow. Wow, so that time the, the main line, the leader line actually broke first. Um, again, just it was short. It was only within like a turn, and that's a turn out of like upper 20s. So that's, uh, that was shocking. So now the uh, leader line's actually lost twice compared to the main line. So we'll, again, do some more testing, make sure it's not anomalies, and then I'll give you a final conclusion. All right, so we just finished the sixth test and have a conclusion, and it was, it's shocking. It's uh, very surprising that this leader line did not perform better than the main line. And uh, number four, uh, we didn't show it because it was monotonous, but number four, it was really a dead even. The, the, the both weights dropped at the same time. Number five, the same thing happened where it was just almost the same time. It was hard to tell which one was faster. And then the last one, the leader line actually lost. But in all the losses, they were all within like one or two revolutions. And given that it was normally 30 revolutions before one of them gave way, it really wasn't that much of a factor. So I almost say they're the same line. And so uh, again, this one is, this leader line is five times more expensive than the main line. So if I'm ever buying uh, this type of fluorocarbon again, I'm just gonna go with the main line because I can get you know a lot more line for the same exact amount of money. But, uh, but this isn't to say that all fluorocarbon leaders aren't better than the fluorocarbon main line. I have to do some more tests to, uh, to prove that. Uh, this was just a small case example. The reason why I use these, uh, nothing against CR, nothing for CR. I don't have any relationships with any line company, so it doesn't benefit me one way or the other if you go one line versus the other. 
I just wanted to do the first test where the, the fewest amount of variables are in play. So we have the same brand, we have the lines of the same diameter, uh, just one is, is marketed as a leader line and then one is marketed as a main line. So what, at least what we've proven is that not all fluorocarbon leaders are stronger than fluorocarbon main lines. That's kind of the, it's basically the high level conclusion of this experiment. Um, next step will be to test out different brands against each other and, uh, and really start dialing in which line truly is the most abrasion resistant. So if you have any, any questions about this test or ideas on how to improve it, please let me know, leave a comment down below. Um, we tried to make this as fair as possible in the fact that you know, there were ties on both, you know, on the same lines, whether they were on this side or the other side. I believe it's pretty well calibrated. Um, but it, yeah, if you have any ideas on improvement, please do let us know. And if you have uh, recommendations for different lines to test, uh, let us know as well in the comment section down below. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot more tests. We'll be filming a lot of them and, and that way we can share the results with you. So anyhow, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones. Thank <music> you.